Hey guys, um, I'm in Uganda right now. You know, I've been traveling since uh, April. I was uh, in Tanzania, in Kenya. Today I'm in Uganda. Actually, Uganda is really pretty. pretty. You see that, right? So I want to talk about something that I've been thinking about for so long, right? This is uh, about the charges and betting. I want to show you how the charge and betting became the most profitable business in Africa, and how these businesses there's no actually difference between two of them. So number one. You have to understand that business model. So the business model of the chart is to sell salvation or selling hope. And the same thing as the business model of a betting company is also to sell hope, right? So if you look, most of the neighborhood, especially the poor neighbor, you're gonna find, uh, actually, but I'm gonna go on my video real quick. I met another guy in, the, in the Uganda, the motor, uh, motorcycle driver, what's his name? Innocent. Innocent. Nice guy, you know what I'm saying? Come check him out. All right. Anyway, so what I was trying to say is the church and the betting companies, they both sell hope to people and they both target poor people. You know what I'm saying? So if you go in African countries, especially in the poor neighborhoods, you will find there's a church on one side and there's a betting company on the other side. Most people who buy the betting tickets, they're usually the people who have given up in life. The people who believe that they will never make it. So the only way they can make it is through uh, uh, luck. You know what I'm saying? So you're gonna find some people, for example, go to the betting company and buy a ticket, and then they go to the church to pray God, to help them win. And sometimes they will actually give the offering to God as a bribe for God to help them out, right? And this reminds me something very important. When I was in Tanzania, I met this guy. His name is Joseph, right? He's uh, the CEO of Cloud Media in Tanzania. And uh, I was asking him about like, what business can you do in Tanzania? You know and I'm saying he's a very successful guy in Tanzania. And he wanna, we were just talking, asking for some advices. And he said, the best business to do in Tanzania is a betting company. And I asked him, why do you think the betting company is a good business in Tanzania when it does not provide any value to the citizens? And the answer was, people are poor. And they will buy anything that's offering offer them a little bit of hope. You know what I'm saying? And that's how the churches and the betting companies in African countries that have been able to become very successful because they're selling the hope to the poor people. You know what I'm saying? So every neighborhood you're gonna go to, every poor neighborhood, you will find a church and a betting company everywhere. I guarantee you. You know what I'm saying? So I would tell you, you know, if you're a young person, you believe in yourself is to actually not base your future on the luck of the betting company or the church it's actually go out there and do some work you know what i'm saying not working hard but actually think smart and to solve real life problems in your countries and your communities so if you like this run today make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell i'm gonna be uploading a rant every day when i'm doing my workout i gotta show you how this country is beautiful though look the hills pretty nice hills nice houses one thing i like about uganda is they don't have like skyscrapers right they don't have like you know if you go in kenya and you go in the united states new york you find a lot of skyscrapers right but in uganda they essentially just have like low houses right which makes place look much more beautiful so i want to let you know again we have a programs for if you're looking to have a remote job online job just like me be able to travel and work from everywhere click the link and sign up or give you a call myself